Hello everyone. Today's tutorial we will learn about Workfusion RP Express application and keyboards. This is tutorial 7. So let's know uh, the application options that we get on the recorder is launch application window, maximize window, minimize window, close the window, and get window title. Keyboard options, we have the enter, enter key strokes. The enter key strokes action can be used in any one of the below forms. One is the key combination that is control C, control F, Windows R and so on. Other is type text, wherein we can type a static content. Then the third option is text from variable that is store of value dynamically in a variable and then retrieve it. Now let's move on with the demo. In the demo, below is a set of actions that we'll carry out. First is the first is launch an application per se no fat plus plus. Type some static content in it, any form of text, copy the content, open another application notepad paste the copied content now let's see how we can do it on the recorder basically we will be creating scripts using the action library here you can see on the left hand side we selected launch application where we will specify the notepad exe path We are using the wait option in the action library so that once we have launched the notepad, it waits for 1000 milliseconds for the notepad to come up. Then we will use enter keystrokes, wherein we'll type some static content. Here we are uh, here we are typing let's launch notepad plus plus and type something in it. So this will appear on the notepad plus plus. Further again, we use enter keystrokes. This time we will use the key combination control F. Control A, sorry. That will copy the content that we just typed in the Notepad Plus Plus. Control A is for highlighting the co the written content, and Control C is for copying the content. Now, in this script, we are trying to launch another application that is Notepad using windows run command and then in this enter keystrokes type text we will type notepad the next script will be an enter enter command in this script we will paste what we had copied from the notepad plus plus into the notepad. Now let's see this our script is ready. Save the script and then play the recording. Here you can see on the right hand side it gives you an idea of what command is getting executed from the script. Now you can see the notepad was launched. We typed some text, we copied it and then the notepad what in the notepad we pasted it so that the green text that you see tells you that all your scripts were successfully executed now we'll demo using the variable option from the action library let's create one more project let us create one more recording and rename it rename it to variable dot 
start putting scripts in it. Select from variables a random value. Now if you see in the drop down it's expecting a variable so we need to define a variable here. Now that we have defined a variable as string, we can select the variable in the drop down and then select numeric as the character set. Next script is for launching application. We launch a notepad plus plus here. In the notepad, we will we, we will see the variable a random value being typed, which is of the form alphanumeric that we had selected. Next script is enter keystroke and we'll say we'll try to save this typed value. When you click on save, it will ask you to okay here we tried to select the variable value and entered into the notepad. Enter keystroke from variable variable, that's what it will do. And then control S if you save the notepad that has this content we just paste it from the variable here we are trying to give the file name so the notepad plus plus will be saved with the file name as file name in the script we, are we will give the enter command so that saves the notepad plus plus with the file name as file name. And the next script that we will use is close window from the applications option in the action library. So once you have saved the notepad plus plus it will close the window and the file will close. Here we try to give a wait we always try to give a wait time so that enough time is given for the notepad plus plus to get launched after you hit the launch script launch command so here you can see a notepad plus plus got opened and a file name the file name is getting it is getting saved with the file name as file name and this is a random value which is numeric i believe we had selected numeric pardon me you can see yes we had selected numeric that's right now we will change it to alphanumeric and try to save this script and play the recording one more time we'll change the file name to file name string we have selected alphanumeric so the file name we are trying to save it as file name string let's play the recording here you see the random value is a mix of string characters and numbers okay all the scripts have run successfully there is a green tick that you can see on the right hand side it means the script ran successfully let's see the other option also there's one more option that is provided that is provided to select the type of variable alpha here you will see that the random value being generated will have only alphabets. Let's play the recording. Okay, let's change the file name first to file name alpha. Let's play the recording. It's opening a notepad plus plus. It's typing only alphabets in it if you notice. And then it saves that notepad with the file name as file name alpha. And then closes the window that's all folks for today if there are any questions that you have please type it in the comment section and i will definitely try to respond to you thank you